Well, I think I start every video like that. Well, anyway, had a good morning so far. You know, the day before Thanksgiving, you got to go into school for three and a half hours to put in a half of a work day. Anyway, works out. Kids aren't in school, but we've got to show up and do our thing. Got all my grades done though and finished up. We're on a, I don't know how many people in the entire world do this, but in our school district, we run uh, trimesters, not quarters, not semesters. We do trimesters. And it is a little weird. I grew up with it, so I know how it works. And then I've been off, you know, at another school district teaching with semesters and come back to this and I just am not quite sure how to take it but uh, it is different so we're just finishing up our first trimester and uh, then we're into a new group next week so that'll be good good to have the Thanksgiving break and do that kind of deal as well in between so anyway this afternoon we are headed out to do a little bit of pheasant hunting. One of our fun, fat, fun uh, pastimes out here in northern Utah. Um, do a little pheasant hunting, see what we can find. Nice thing is <laughs> that this is a tradition of my father-in-law's. Uh, we go down to the the hunting club and we buy the birds and they plant them, and then we go hunt. We always end up with pretty close to the number we, we buy. Uh, sometimes you get more because birds are just around and other times you don't get as many as you bought. And you, you know, you just have to hope that you do better next time. But anyway, that's where I'm headed now, out to the hunting club. We'll see what we can do. You know, I don't know about how it is everywhere else, but seems like we got more foxes than we do pheasants out here and I think that hurts the pheasant population a little bit maybe one day foxes will start to diminish in their population and the pheasants will come back up seems like when I was a kid you could see a pheasant running all across the road all the time but now it's just every once in a while so anyway we'll see how this fun adventure goes and Try to have a good old time. Should be able to do that. Had to stop for a little nourishment. You know, elixir of the gods. I'm not gonna show you the name because nobody's paying me any money, but I think you know what it is. Anyway, now we can get on the road. Go do a little pheasant hunt. years where we got everything that we bought and now whether they're the ones they set out or something else that was down there I don't know but we ended up with all the, you know as many birds as we bought so that was good I meant to take a little video as we were walking back but gosh you just get caught up in the moment I guess and forget all about it but anyway had a good old time I was gonna show you my gun I got it all packed up now Kind of a cool story behind that and maybe that's for another video but uh, it's an old Ithaca um, and belonged to my great grandpa pretty neat deal to get a hold of that and get to use it uh, kind of exciting I, I love pulling that out anytime I get to go hunting and using it. it's a 16 gauge um, doesn't seem like they're very common anymore it's, anyway, it's a, you know, either most folks are shooting 12s or 20 gauge. 
mostly 12 gauges if you're getting out and doing much hunting, but gosh, this 16 gauge can't beat it in my mind. I, I really like shooting it. So anyway, one day at a time. That's how we stay sane. <laughs>